Hi Gemini, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of April 19th through April 25th, 2021. This is a reading for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, let's see what you have coming up for this week, Gemini. We have the Knight of Swords with the Knight of Cups that just flipped right out. So very interesting. Let's see, Gemini. I would like to say welcome to all of you guys. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you are not subscribed, please do subscribe. I do appreciate it. Also, if you could please give this video a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate that. There's the Ten of Wands. Okay. Gemini. Okay, we have the Ace of Cups. Hmm. The Lovers in the reverse, okay. Five of Cups in the reverse. Pentacles almost in the reverse. For some of you, she can be upright, absolutely. Let's see. The Four of Swords, okay. So now we just need an overall energy for Gemini, please, for this week. What is the overall energy for the sign of Gemini for this week, please? The Ten of Pentacles. Very nice. Family, very significant. The home could be significant. Okay, we have the devil at the bottom of the deck. So, could be dealing with a Capricorn for some of you. We do have the Queen of Pentacles here in the reverse. So you could be dealing with the Capricorn. Hmm. Some of you need to cleanse your home, cleanse your space, your environment. This could be your work, your work environment as well. So yeah, needing to look at that. You want to definitely, um, yeah. You definitely want to um, cleanse release any negative energies uh, in your space and your environment but also negative influences negative people people that bring you down people that are low vibe uh definitely could be a capricorn um we have we have a lot of earth energy here could be a woman um that you're dealing with if you are a woman this could be another woman that you're dealing with could also be a Taurus or a Virgo, a Libra. Okay, this is interesting. We have the Devil with the Empress, the Five of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords. If I keep going, here's the Ace of Swords. For some of you, you're actually going through... The healing process. This is a, a relationship that didn't work out or a relationship that just really disappointed you, Gemini. I think that some of you are par possibly, possibly disconnecting from someone that maybe you fell in love with, but this person rejected you. Uh, for some of you, this is like a sex-only relationship, okay? But I think that I am reading for some Geminis that you wanted maybe long-term with this person. Feelings definitely began to develop here for this person, but they may have rejected you, okay? Others, this could be taking place this week. I think it's so very important that you focus on your loved ones, the community that you live in, that you're involved in work for some of you your business if you're a business owner definitely need to cleanse your environment without a doubt maybe this is someone that you were having uh, over 
to your house quite a bit. Uh, maybe they were even staying with you. I think you need to cleanse your environment. I do see here that, you know, this person has left your life or you're in the process of letting go uh, of this person, this connection. They still might uh, communicate with you, Gemini. Maybe you guys text. Maybe this person is inconsistent. They might they might come in uh, very quickly, come and go as they please. Um, for some of you, I feel like the love is lost. If there was love, I feel like the love is lost. Uh, or it's a one-sided relationship with the lovers in the reverse. Could be with a Capricorn or an Earth sign. I think that your heart is healing. And I also feel like there's new love coming in. But what's needed is you have to sever ties from the past. The new relationship, which honestly may have real potential. Possibly with an Earth sign. Uh, we have air, we have earth, we have water. But if you're still involved with this toxic connection, what's needed, Gemini, is you leveling up. I'm just going to keep it real. You have to let go of the toxic connection. You have to sever all ties. Love yourself first, and then you're going to have the one come in. If that's something that you want, this is what you have the ability to manifest, but I think that first what's needed is you loving yourself and with the Ace of Cups in the upright, you are loving yourself. And the Five of Cups in the reverse, this is you letting go of the past. You are actually loving yourself. Some of you spending time alone. You could be just thinking about everything that happened in the past. Maybe some of you are coming out of debt with the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. She can be someone who's in debt or she can be someone who's out of work. So some of you may have been laid off. There definitely could be a job opportunity that's coming in. Or if you were just dealing with, you know, some financial difficulties because a relationship ended or you're going through, you know, that process right now, you will come out of this. You just need a little time. For some of you, this is you not loving yourself. You may not feel well. The Queen of Pentacles in the reverse can be someone who's actually ill. Someone who's not feeling well. You could be dealing with depression. The Ace of Cups, very emotional. What's needed is actually some you time. You catching up on your sleep. Loving yourself, that's really what's necessary. You may need a break. You may need to take a vacation. This could be a family vacation. You need to disconnect from any negative influences. You may have someone around you who influences you in a very negative way. A toxic friend, toxic connection. Also, you know, maybe you're recovering financially or maybe 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 you were out of work. You could have just went back to work. I see you going through um, a time of recovery, Gemini. Don't let anybody use you. You know, if someone keeps maybe borrowing, borrowing money from you, taking money from you, don't let anybody use you. You know, maybe someone keeps coming to you for money, but they never pay you back. Maybe someone is staying with you. Maybe they promise to pay you rent, but they don't. I mean, this could be a number of uh, different things. I think that you need to just remove any sort of toxic influences or energies, low vibe individuals. You need to get them out of your, your environment. And then you need to focus on yourself because some of you, this is absolutely without a doubt health related. 
yeah you need to put yourself first you, you need to take care of yourself some of you may be taurus gemini cuspers and like i mentioned as soon as you sever ties with the toxic connection the one that was using you the one that didn't want to commit the one that was a cheater or was low vibe I think that they're not done with you. They're still around you. I think you will absolutely, without a doubt, hear from them this week. But I think that you also have somebody else around you, someone who has real potential. You might not be seeing this person just yet. You know, give this some time to play out here. We have a super moon on the 26th. Some of you may have a water sign. Or someone who is coming in. But this is going to be after this recovery period. This is going to be after you cut this person off. After you love yourself. I think that you have someone coming in that has real potential. This could be an earth sign, a water sign, a fire sign. For many of you, it's either water or earth but it's after you heal many of you are going through the healing process already though you're already loving yourself you're already putting yourself first i think what's needed gemini is is strong boundaries really you need some strong boundaries you also need to value yourself you need to respect yourself you need to value yourself now, if this is not you, this could be someone close to you. This could be the person you're dealing with. This could be a family member. But yeah, you need to put yourself first. You need to put those closest to you that are not toxic, but those closest to you from many of you. This could be your children. You need to put yourself and your family first definitely need to take better care of yourself Gemini don't overwork yourself don't be a slave and if you were feeling uninspired on the work front if you are feeling a little bored or uninspired I definitely see a creative spark coming in for you but let's pull you an additional guidance card, Gemini. And some of you have love coming in. You have someone coming in, but I think it's after you unchain yourself from whoever this person is that you are dealing with in the past. You have to first release yourself from that. All right, Gemini. All right, so you have a little extra guidance. I'm taking the cards that are upright. Okay. Nothing is yet set in stone, mutable moon. So then this means you have the ability to actually make some changes. You can change certain things. You can change the outcomes. You can write your own script. We have free will. And so if you feel trapped... Uh, like I mentioned earlier, with the Eight of Swords, the Ace of Swords, if you're not seeing a way out of a situation, there is a way out. It may require you speaking your truth or communicating some sort of truth. Show the world the real you, yeah. Full moon in Aquarius, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. But this is you able to make changes by being true to yourself and also stepping out of your comfort zone the answers you need are coming look at this could be dealing with another gemini the answers you need are coming so when the time comes and you will know the right time some of you what's needed is you being true to you and maybe speaking your truth others you know cutting someone off making some big changes taking better care of you 
All right, Gemini. So I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. I do appreciate it. All right, guys, have a blessed week.